my name is Chris and I'm going to play some lute music for you today by a composer named Mademoiselle Bouquet. Uh, first of all, what is a lute? Um, well, the lute was really the most popular instrument in Europe for hundreds of years. Um, it was around for so long that it really changed forms a little bit. Uh, kind of the classic version that we find in the Renaissance is this instrument. Uh, it looks kind of like a guitar, but a little different shape. And it has this kind of bowl back, and you can see that the head stock is bent back a little bit. Um, by the time that this composer that I'll be performing for you today uh, was around, the lute had changed quite a bit. And we end up with something like this. They kept adding strings uh, so they could get more notes and do different types of music. And so we end up with something like this that has just, just lots and lots of strings. Uh, and the body is a little bit bigger, but we still have the, the same shape. Um, so this is played sort of like a combination of a guitar and a harp, uh, in that we have some strings where you're pressing down the notes with one hand and plucking with the other. And then we have all these long strings that I never press down at all. So these long strings, we get... And then other strings that we can... And uh, this is really an instrument that came from the Middle East, but was around in Europe for so long. Uh, the composer I'm about to perform, I'll p play a piece called uh, Polonoise, which was actually a dance, uh, and there would have been dance steps that would have gone along with this. Uh, but she was active in the 1600s, um, and it's, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, there were not very many women, uh, very few women composers. She's really one of the only ones. We don't even know her first name. She just goes by Mademoiselle Bouquet, which means Miss Bouquet. Uh, but there were two sisters. There was an Anne or Marguerite who both played the lute and composed for the lute. It could have been one or the other of them. Uh, what is amazing is that you find her music actually in a lot of manuscripts, so it must have been really popular. And um, this is what it sounds like. Thank you. 